And I don't know, Gabriella, do you have, um, are you co, are you hosts back again? And we'll transition to the video and our hackathon um, informational. Um, yes, so I'll try the video once again, and hopefully my screen does not stay blocked this time. <laughs> if not, I know um, the Lydia is kind of my backup to try to play it in case it doesn't work out. Uh, right. but I'll try this and see how it works this time around. So, um, let me share my screen. Can you all see it? It's not letting me play it though, unfortunately. No, I cannot see it. Let me try, Gabriella. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so I'll stop sharing so it allows you. Sorry about that. No worries. That's why we've got backup. <laughs> do you see that okay? Yes. yes. Okay. This is, is, in essence, the embodiment of empowerment, service, an inspiration for women and girls of the African diaspora. We foster growth and celebrate achievement. We do this through the cultivation and production of four cornerstone events. With our annual service campaigns, rites of passage programs, Shiro and scholarship fundraiser banquets, and the Seshat STEM conferences, Sacred Sisters is committed to delivering programming that improves the overall health, well-being, spirit, and vitality of African American and African women and children by nourishing and elevating the mind, body, and spirit. Uh-oh, bandwidth. <laughs> Let me get these kids off of Roblox downstairs. No. It's loading. It is loading. You're right. Let me pause. Oh, no. One minute, 26. It just glitches. It happens a oh, lot. You know what? You're so right, sweet darling. You're so right. I'm gonna stop share and just see if I can reload the page and try it again. Here we go. We were at a minute and 26. All right, let's go back to where we were, okay. And I'll share my screen with you one more time. Let's see if we can get that going. Sacred Sisters is, in essence, the embodiment of empowerment, service, and inspiration for women. Sacred Sisters is, in essence, the embodiment of empowerment, service, 
an inspiration for women and girls, census taking, there we go. and other technical tasks. In the spirit of Seshat and others who stand on her shoulders, we form the acronym Seeking Excellence in Science, Healthcare, Arithmetic, and Technology. And particularly focusing on girls' participation in math, science, technology early is important. Underrepresented groups, African Americans, Latinos, we've got to get those kids tapped in. That, that's the largest growing part of our population. So, when it came to our young women and the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, we had to ask ourselves, what do we know about STEM and girls of African heritage? How many girls are interested in STEM? How many know what STEM is? How many know their STEM interest? but have no idea what is possible, and how many even know how to achieve the goals they have set for themselves. What we do know is that most of the junior high to high school age girls who attend our conference lack exposure to black female scientists or even to black teachers, that they make up a small percentage in STEM courses, that they make up a small percentage of college admissions in STEM majors, and even a smaller percentage <coughs> in degrees given in the field of engineering, and more importantly, that they value the fellowship, mentorship, and exposure to Black professional women in STEM fields. In response to this, the Sacred Sisters Seshot STEM Conference is offered each spring to usher curious and purposeful young women into collegiate environments for a day of lectures and workshops that offer exposure, revelation, and access to the world of STEM and the women involved in it. And this year, 2021, we will have done this for 10 years. The conference provides opportunities for peer support and engagement, ideas and roadmaps for academic success, in addition to mentor development. We have had the good fortune to partner with hosts, Harvey Med College, and Western University of Health Sciences to present years of enriching presentations by STEM industry academics and practitioners that span the gamut, sharing their expertise in space exploration, medicine, energy and chemical engineering, as well as mathematics and statistics. In the summer of 2021, we will mark the 10th annual Sacred Sisters Seshot STEM Conference with the Hackathon. The weekend-long design challenge will involve mentor-led workshops that encourage participants to apply their curiosity and know-how towards the construction of innovative solutions. We invite you to join us for this and other future events as we work to advance the presence of Black women in STEM. That was a cool video. <laughs> and we do want to especially thank 
um, our media team who took this on. Um, and of course that includes um, Mrs. Akua McLeod and um, Dr. Rolanda, but a special thank you to Ms. Akua McLeod who put her, I can't even say it, her expertise and loving touch. Thank you so very much. Um, we'll continue on um, and we're going to, um, we do want to share some details about the hackathon. And so um, at this time, um, Dr. Talithia or Aquia, would you like to share um, a little bit on the details of the hackathon? Yes, Aquia, I'm going to pass it over to you to get us started. Awesome. Can you all hear me all right? My microphone has been a bit on the fritz. Yes. Okay, awesome. So great. It's so great to see everyone <laughs> and be here with you all virtually. Um, I'll give a little bit more detailed intro about things um, when the other mentors also check in, but mostly I just wanted to check in with you all and talk about kind of what hackathons are and about our plans for this summer. So I will be one of the mentors for Sacred Sisters inaugural hackathon this summer. Um, the hackathon is scheduled for Friday, June 25th um, and Saturday, June 26th. So we're really excited to be starting this this year. Um, but first, before I launch into kind of talking about hackathons, how many of you all have heard of what a hackathon is? You guys can like put a yes in the chat or use one of the reactions. I just want to get a pulse for our knowledge about hackathons. You can, yes, thumbs up. I see a thumbs up. <laughs> this is good. Okay, cool. Um, yes, yeah, I had also not known very much about hackathons until relatively recently. Um, so many of you may be wondering what a hackathon is, but first maybe we could talk a little bit about what a hackathon is not. So the term hacking can be kind of misleading. We might think of hacking as like doing something really destructive, like we're hacking into a system, we're gonna steal someone's data. Um, but really a hackathon is the opposite of that. Hacking is about creative problem solving and about coming together over the course of a weekend to create solutions together. So that's what we're really excited to create this summer. Um, and for a hackathon, you don't need to know computer science. You don't need to know how to code. All you need to do is bring your ideas and your brilliant minds um, to work together and meet new people in this problem solving process. So the goal of our hackathon this summer is to empower you all um, and provide a space for you all to collaborate um, and put your brilliant minds together to solve problems. Um, usually at a hackathon, there's a theme. And today you'll hear from me and maybe a couple other mentors about some of their own hackathon experiences and the themes that they've experienced. Um, but hackathons can be about many different things. You could have a hackathon about social justice or about protecting the environment um, or about supporting black women and kind of ideas for how that can happen. Um, but basically the format this summer will be, we'll come together for a weekend, we'll break up into teams um, and then we'll work on projects together around a theme that we'll announce later. So I think with that, maybe we can talk to some of our mentors. I can go first real quick and just share a little bit about my previous hackathon experience. Um, so my first hackathon was actually, I did my first hackathon last year. So if you all start this summer, you'll be so ahead of the game. Um, so I participated in a clean energy hackathon um, in college and I paired up with some of my sister friends um, from the Society of Black Scientists and Engineers. And it was, uh, we called our team the Energy Queens. And basically our project was thinking about how we can reuse and repurpose the batteries that are in electric vehicles um, so that they don't go to waste. And this actually wasn't, um, it sounds like it was a technical project, but it was um, really more about coming up with a business idea for how we could use those batteries. Um, and at the beginning, I was totally intimidated. Like I really am interested in clean energy, but I didn't know anything about electric vehicle batteries. And so a big part of the project was just working with my friends to do the research um, and gather resources. And the hackathon organizers gave us some good places to start with some things that we could read at the beginning. And we'll do the same thing this summer. Like we won't throw you into the deep end. You'll get resources um, so that you have a good place to start. Um, and basically we just did a lot of research and then came up with this business plan and presented it together. And it was a lot of fun. Um, so I think hackathons are an awesome way to get an opportunity to collaborate with other people who care about interesting problems um, and meet other people and just kind of like try your thinking hats on. So 
with that, I will pass it off to another mentor, Natasha, who I think is going to tell you about her hackathon experience. Hi, I'm Natasha. Um, I was involved in running a hackathon called Hack for Black Lives, which happened in February with a couple of other Harvey Mudd students. I'm also a senior at Harvey Mudd. Um, it was the, most of the hackathons in Claremont, I would say, are tech-based since there's a lot of people majoring in CS, but our hackathon was not all tech projects, and that's something that was really important to us. So it was centered around the goal of supporting Black communities and the Black Lives Matter movement, and we invited all members from the Claremont community. We had a lot of students, we had graduate students, we had several faculty members participating as mentors, and they all came together to address different issues that they saw that were that had dealt with you know the black experience and that affected black communities so those were overlaying super fun sites which are sites in america that need a lot of cleanup because there was some sort of environmental disaster or pollution going on there overlaying the location of those sites with um, neighborhoods that had lower incomes or primarily black residents and so that highlighted the environmental racism going on in the united states another project was that's kind of going away from data was creating a mural to be painted at Harvey Mudd that honored the Black Lives Matter move, movement. And then even if you wanted to do maybe a traditional tech project, which some people did, one thing that someone was creating was a way to make an app to highlight black owned businesses. So people, we really had it open ended and went beyond sort of what we consider a traditional hackathon to be hacking to be any sort of project that you come up with that you think is important and that you want to see, you know, impact or address something in your community or resolve an issue that you see. Awesome. Thank you so much, Natasha. That was great. Um, I don't know, are there any other mentors that want to chime in on the chat today? Or I think that maybe it's just the two of us today. I'm not sure. Um, Gabriella, do you know if there are other folks that wanted us? To... Um, I think it was just the two of you. <laughs> So thank you for checking in on that. Awesome. Um, cool. So then I guess the next part um, is to do some breakout rooms so that you guys have an opportunity to ask more questions of us if you have any questions about how a hackathon works. Um, and I was reminded, I should note that um, part of a hackathon is also that you get the chance to like present your work and maybe compete among other teams for prizes. Um, but it's really low stakes and just a lot of fun. So yeah. Um, okay, cool. So I don't know exactly how to set up the breakout rooms, but I think maybe we can. Yep, I'm doing that right now. Okay, so, awesome. um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Aquia and Tasha and Natasha, I'm going to um, put you guys in a room and then I'll just assign people to you. And um, yes, you should see popping up uh, on your screen shortly um, invitations to go into that space. All right. Great. And here. All righty. Okay, rooms are open. And I don't know that, um, let's see. Uh... Kendall and Gabriella. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Um, so as again, I'm Natasha. Um, I'm a senior at Harvey Mudd. Um, I'm a math major. I'm going into a math PhD program at the University of Washington in the fall. So it's really exciting. Um, or about me, I'm the co-president of Black Lives at Harvey Mudd, which is the Black student organization at Harvey Mudd. And then with my other co-president, Camille Simon, and two other Harvey Mudd seniors, we organized Hack for Black Lives, which happened in February. And it was a really great event. So we're happy that the Sacred Sisters organization is going, also going to be holding something similar. Um, and it's, I don't know, it was, it was a lot of hard work, but it was, it was really fulfilling and I'm glad that it's being continued. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess you can